Mary Hughes's mission is to make this election year and maybe every election year in the foreseeable future the year of the women. She is the founder and director of the 2012 Project, which is based at Rutgers University. It is a national nonpartisan campaign at the Center for uh, American Women and Politics. After 20 years of running campaigns and advising candidates, Mary decided to try a different approach. The 2012 project strategy is to increase the number of women in Congress and state legislatures by seeking advantage of newly created and competitive seats that have come from the redistricting effort as a result of the last census and reapportionment. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Mary Hughes. Thank you. You are a wonderful audience, but I know very well not to get between you and the main course. So I'm going to take advice from my family at the table who said, be clear, be brief, be seated. So one anecdote only. A few weeks ago in Palo, in Palo Alto, California, where half the team, half the national team for this effort live and work, I was working late and packing up. And the phone rang, and I answered it, and the woman said, is this the 2012 project? I said, yes, it is. She said, really? I said, yes, it is. She said, well, I'm calling from Georgia. I said, yes, ma'am, what can we do for you? And she said, well, I'm a registered nurse, and I just got off work, and I was too revved up to go to sleep. So I grabbed my nurse magazine, and I began to read an article about running for my state legislature. And it said that you would help me. And she began to tell me about what happened on her shift and at her work and why she thought we could do better for people and what she thought we might try. And it was so much the reason that in the 2012 project, we go out and talk to accomplished, smart women who aren't already political and say to them, you have so much to offer this country. You have so much that we need. And all they need is the ask. All they need is for someone to say, you should do it. You can do it. And when she and I finished talking, I took her name and I delivered it to what we call our candidate intake officers, two incredible women. One served in New Hampshire in the state legislature, the other in Oregon. And they, one of them then interviewed her and built a network for her in Georgia and in the Southeast so that she could raise money and meet people who could help her with other issues outside her expertise and learn what the political system requires of candidates, which is not insignificant, as all of you know. There are extraordinary women in this country, but they have not thought of themselves as political leaders, and they do not want to come into politics as it is today. But if we can persuade them, they can change politics. So as so many of my colleagues here have said, help us do that. Ask someone you admire to run. Thank you very much for this honor. <laughs>